بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور ٹیچر ڈاکٹر عرفان علی ود ان نیو پریکٹیکل ریگارڈنگ دا کورس پوسٹ ویسٹ ہارٹی کلچر دیٹ از ہارٹ فائیو او ایٹ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے ول ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ان دا پریکٹیکل آف میئرنگ ٹائٹریٹیبل ایسیڈیٹی سو دس از ون آف دا ون آف دا parameters that is used to determine maturity and quality of the food and vegetables so the the things or the the, the apparatus that is going to be used for this practical is a, what we need is a beaker of having a capacity of more than 250 ml then a small beaker a miring cylinder a burette funnel which is which will be placed on the burette stand for the burette then we will have be needing a dropper in the chemicals we will need 0.1 normal and aoh phenolphthalein as an indicator then the fruit juice uh, we are using the juice of peach then distilled or double distilled water these were the chemicals and apparatus that uh, that we will be going to use for this practical now first of all we will extract the juice and we will take 10 ml of this juice and measure with the help of measuring cylinder we will put it in the large large beaker sorry we will add 40 ml of distilled water to make the final volume of 50 ml this is 20 20 more so we will make final volume of 50 so now we will take 10 ml of aliquot from this solution okay and put it in the small beaker which will be used for titration now we will add few drops of finaf clean with the help of dropper this finaf clean will be used as an indicator during the process of titration now we will take 0.1 normal naoh in the burette now we will adjust the reading before the titration by dropping a few drops of the base we have adjusted it now we will titrate this juice against the base until the light a permanent light pink color you can see that the color appears and disappears when 
it in the concentration of the base is very low until a certain point is reached where this pink color will be permanent i think it has attained the permanent pink color so we will stop it and note the final reading of the of the base which will give us the idea how much the base is used now we will put this in the formula and uh, will find the exact value of titratable acidity of the fruit thank you